Hello and welcome to the Downtown Midland Podcast, a monthly piece of content to know all things about Downtown Midland. This podcast is presented by the MCTV Network, a service of the City of Midland. To learn more about Downtown Midland, be sure to follow and like Downtown Midland social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe to this podcast on your preferred platform, and to get more details, go to downtownmidland.com. Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of the Downtown Midland podcast. I'm your host, Selena Tisdale, and here with me is the great Chris Ferguson. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great. Doing great. Doing great. It's beautiful. Sunny day, downtown Midland. Uh, The rain has stayed away so far, so it's it's awesome. This is the kind of weather we live for. It is. exactly what we want to kick off our downtown events for the summer of 2021. Yeah. So in this podcast, we're going to uh, meet with one of our most recent uh, newest businesses downtown, O'Macron, and its owner, Cody Humphrey. And she'll be filling us in on uh, the startup of that business. Uh, We'll be talking a little bit about the pedestrian plazas. We're now in the third week of the pedestrian plazas being up and running, learning lots every day, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more and and invite folks down to check those out. And finally, we'll be spotlighting all the events happening in downtown Midland in August, and there are a lot. So are you ready? Yes, let's get to it, Selena. Beautiful. Let's go. So thanks for coming back and joining us again for the second ever Downtown Midland podcast. And we're here with Cody O'Mara from O'Macron, a new business downtown. And we'd like to welcome Cody to our podcast. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Wonderful. We can't wait to hear more about your business. So by way of that, give us the 30 second elevator speech on what exactly is your business all about? Sure. So we are a bakery that focuses um, on French macarons. We have 20 plus flavors at any given time in our display case. Um, we focus the first half of our week on baking. Um, so me and my team are just in there vigorously baking away. Uh, and then Wednesday through Saturday, we open our doors um, and yeah, welcome in lots of people for French macarons and Italian sodas and coffee. And yeah, it's awesome. Beautiful. So. Yeah. I'm not really familiar with macarons. I've mm-hmm. watched them be baked. I've had a few. <laughs> why Why that product? What What drew you to that? For me, um, it was all about the, the opportunity for creativity. There are, the flavor possibilities are endless. There's so many different design elements you can do with them. And um, they're challenging, which I actually found appealing. I didn't mm-hmm. want to really just make something that anybody could make. Um, And yeah, we're just, we're always doing new flavors and new um, colors and designs and uh, yeah, just the creativity possibilities really. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We're thankful that you're here with us today, Cody. And uh, I have a few questions Mm -hmm. about you. Like, so tell us a little bit about you. Like, where did you grow up and like, when did you first arrive to Midland? Uh, I grew up in Clare, Michigan, Mm -hmm. uh, and I came to the Saginaw area to go to SVSU. I got my degree in occupational therapy, um, and then I met my husband sometime uh, in grad school, and so I stuck around. He was living in Midland at the time, so we're still living in Midland. Uh, We got married a year ago, and yeah, I plan to stick around here. I I love the area. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, One of the questions we ask all of the business owners who come on this podcast, we want to know your why, you Mm -hmm. know, so why did you come up with the O Macaron and and, um, Macaron? Macaron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. O Macaron. Yeah. Why did you come up with the business? And uh, I heard a little bit about it, but what's the real passion for it? Sure. Um, I think my main passion is is in being an entrepreneur, honestly. Um, But as far as O Macaron, my goals for it are to... Uh, on my team. I love having a team, um, the leadership that it allows me, um, the fun that we have, honestly, but uh, we work so hard and have so much fun. Uh, and that's been a huge motivation for me is, um, you know, making sure my team is fulfilled in what they're doing uh, the same way that I am. Um, and what else could I add to that? Uh, our community, honestly, uh, giving back to our community, um, creating a quality product for them uh, is super important. And yeah, it's just, it's been fun. Well, we're so glad you landed in downtown Midland. What's been your experience so far? You've been open four or five months? Yeah, now? we opened uh, February 6th. So okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my experience downtown has been incredible. I did not expect the uh, support, first of all, in our grand opening. I could not believe how many um, downtown <laughs> yeah. business owners came in uh, to introduce themselves. It was like positively overwhelming. I did not expect that at all. Uh, and then just as we've been down here, I've learned more and more about just the camaraderie with the downtown yeah. businesses, I, I did not anticipate that at all. And it has been such a, a positive surprise. Um, and even the uh, 
mid downtown Midland uh, business meeting this morning was mm -hmm. just another reaffirmation of how much opportunity there is for not only the downtown business owners but the uh, you know downtown uh, customers and community and there's just so much being offered down here uh, I don't think people even really realize all that that there is being offered here uh, yeah. and it's been very exciting for us as a business to participate in the events and just everything that's going on it's been very good for our business and so so fun for us too yeah, yeah. and I, I think you bring up a good point I, I i think people don't realize that we aren't mm -hmm. just individual businesses in downtown midland we are a conglomerate we're a family yeah and uh there's so much cross promotion yep. that goes on from one business to the next and we get a lot of businesses that partner up and you sell this and i sell this and yeah. and and we really like to direct customers from one business to the next so i'm, I'm glad you're experiencing all of that yeah absolutely. I, I got a question two mm -hmm. questions two-part question um, what's your favorite macaron to make? And then what's your favorite uh, macaron? I'll, I'll get it right. I'm going to get it right. Macaron. What's your favorite macaron to make? And then what's your favorite macaron, make a, macaron to eat? Okay. Yeah. Uh, my favorite one to eat is pistachio. Okay. Uh, it's one of the first ones I made. I, I made actually an ombre macaron tower for my own wedding. It was like the first like big tower <laughs> oh. I did, and I did all pistachio. She I don't is know. not an overachiever. The, the sweet and salty <laughs> element, I think, gets me. Mm. Um, but my favorite to make are the most colorful ones. We'll do like tri-colored shells. Uh, we're doing cherry bomb pop right now for July, and those ones are so fun. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, last little bit here, Cody, mm -hmm. before we let you go, the floor is yours. Do you have anything you'd like to say about, you know, Midland in general, about downtown Midland, about your experience in Midland, all that, all that jazz? Yeah. Um, well, I think I kind of already said it mm -hmm. about downtown Midland and just the support down here, uh, is incredible. And, um, yeah, I don't know what more I could add to that mm -hmm. besides just to encourage people to be on the lookout for upcoming events and to participate in them because they are, um, honestly, nothing short of spectacular. Any one of them. The the turnout is, never fails to astonish me. I'll be like, oh, it'll be, you know. And then it's just like, whoa, like the art fair, you know, we that was the first Sunday that we stayed open for it. And it was it was incredible. Um, and just the sheer amount of people down here. I don't think people even realize, unless you're a part of it, just how much there really is to be involved in. So, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you, Cody, for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, and best of luck to O Macaron. Thank you. <laughs> o Macaron, I got it. I got Stop it. Stop by and visit him on Townsend Street. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's where that's where you're at, Townsend, Townsend Street. Yep. Yep. Cool. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we are going to talk about events that are happening in downtown Midland. So make sure to follow us on Downtown Midland social media, and uh, you can head to downtownmidland.com to catch more information. We'll catch you in a second. Hello, welcome back to the Downtown Midland Podcast. My name is Chris, and I'm here with Selena. We're your host for this month's podcast, and uh, we're going to talk about the events coming up in Downtown Midland of the summer of 2021 in August. So um, let's get to it, Selena. Let's start with the first event. Well, the first event uh, in a very busy August is the return of River Days. We missed it last year for sure, and it's coming back with a vengeance this year. It will kick off on August 5th with our uh, Afterglow on Main Street. So the balloonist will be up here. You can get up close and personal with them. Um, the actual River Days events kick off on Friday, August 6th, uh, down by the Tridge. And that evening, we'll be finalizing the day's worth of events with uh, Stone Street Revival and Jedi Mind Trip up here on Main Street from 7 until midnight. Uh, and, and then on August 7th will be the last day of the River Days events, ending with fireworks. Awesome. I can't wait for the Main Street Glow. I've never been a part of it, so I'm looking forward to seeing these uh, balloons up close and personal. Yeah, so. it's a great chance to meet with the balloonists. Yeah. We're going to talk about the uh, second event, which happens on August 13th through the 15th, and that is the Gus Macker. And the Gus Macker is the three-on-three -three basketball tourney that happens in downtown Midland every year. It uh, typically happens down on Main Street, but because we have the pedestrian plazas, we're going to move it down towards the east end. So it will start from the bridge, basically going towards Dow Diamond. And I believe all ages are welcome for participation and for viewing of the Gus Macker. I remember uh, as a youth and growing up in Midland, uh, coming down and watching my friends playing the Gus Macker, and it's a it's an exciting event and a lot of uh, a lot of people watching. It's a lot of fun, and and even if you don't play basketball or don't follow basketball, mm -hmm. the energy downtown yeah. is just a whole different level. So it's yeah. it's very cool to just come down and watch. Cool, cool. And then finally, we're wrapping up the uh, month of August with Tapped on August 28th. 
Uh, most people who have attended TAPT are used to it being in June. We did push it back to August, hoping that we could overcome all the COVID restrictions, and it looks like that has worked to our favor. So we'll be able to uh, really enjoy TAPT this year on August 28th. Awesome. Yeah, so those are the quick hit events for downtown Midland that are happening in August. Um, but I would like to uh, remind everybody that you can go to downtownmidland.com to get more details about what event is happening and when it is and, you know, all the other information they need to know. So, and you can check out the social media for downtown Midland as well. Um, but let's do a quick update on the pedestrian plazas, Selena. Um, I have some questions about the pedestrian plazas because they're, you know, they're set. This is the second year and um, there's some there's some overall, you know, opinions from the community and uh, from our businesses here. So what is the overall feeling from the businesses that you've heard in the community? Right. Uh, we just left our, our monthly Downtown Midland Business Association meeting, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive from our businesses that uh, attend that meeting and, and just the enjoyment that their customers are getting from being, being able to free flow through the pedestrian plazas a little better. Um, we do encourage folks to kind of take a look at the parking situation downtown, plan out where you, you can park based on your abilities. Uh, we have relocated all the accessible parking a little closer to the uh, closed off area to uh, assist our accessible community. Um, but other than that, we have tons of parking just even a block away from the pedestrian plaza area. So take a look at your parking, you know, help to minimize your frustration there. But uh, overall, it's just been really great. People are enjoying the vibe and, and just the energy in the pedestrian plaza areas. Yeah, and you can go to um, downtownmidland.com to actually check out for the maps of the parking as well. Um, they should be updated there. And uh, yeah, so I think we were talking about mobility here, just a quick second. Um, last week, I took my first ever scooter ride in downtown Midland. So now I've ridden scooters in other cities, so it's not a whole new thing for me, but it was a new thing and a new experience in downtown Midland. So I noticed a few things. Uh, one, I noticed a slower speed in downtown Midland. And the other thing I noticed were just possibly common mistakes um, that riders were taking in downtown Midland. Can we talk to, you know, to mm -hmm. our audience about that a little bit? Yep. Uh, the uh, bird scooters in Midland has been overwhelmingly successful. We enjoy having them downtown as an alternate mode of transportation along with our walkers and bikers and drivers. Um, we just like to keep them off the sidewalk in downtown Midland um, because of the collision opportunity that we have between shoppers coming in and out yeah. of restaurants and retailers um, and, and the bird scooters on the sidewalk. So keeping them off the sidewalk downtown is, is key. We've also worked with our, our partners at, at Bird Scooter to govern down the speed of the scooters in the downtown district. So from about Gordon Street through the pedestrian plaza area, um, you will notice that speed will slow down significantly, significantly for you mm -hmm. um, just so that uh, we can keep it a little safer for all the people milling around in the um, pedestrian plaza areas we certainly want bikes and scooters down there just at a slower speed cool well that answered my questions about the scooters so um, I just want to remind everyone that uh, you know for more information you can go to downtownmidland.com to check out the maps and where the pedestrian plazas happen and uh, if you go to bird scooters app you can see the actual govern zone as well um, but hey we want you to stick with us because we're gonna come back to the community engagement aspect of this and uh, we're gonna talk about the name of the podcast possibly um, and another community partner partnership that we want to do as well so um, stick with us and we'll be right back okay welcome back to the downtown midland podcast that's right that is still the name uh, however we did get some great suggestions from the community and hopefully by the next podcast or two we will have an official name so feel free to keep sending in the suggestions on our social media um, you can email us as well and uh, yeah we'll hopefully have an official name we'd also like to bring in the person that actually helped us pick out the name to the podcast so if that gives you any extra incentives um, of hanging out with Selena and I that'd be uh, that'd be good so we promise it'll be yes fun. yes we would we would so um, we are going to talk a little bit about another community engagement part and I'm going to have Selena kind of give a little intro to that bit yeah so every good podcast needs a good name but what's even better on a good podcast <laughs> good music that's right so we're going to be looking to get some music for this podcast that's right that's right so 
Um, we're, we want an intro and outro to music for the podcast plus bumper segments. Um, so we're looking at the community to see if they'd like to help participate and come up with some music for this podcast. Oh, well, that's a great idea, but <laughs> how, how does that work? Yeah, good. I'm glad you asked me that. And, you know, I'm not a musician, but I do have a little bit of background in content creation. So what we're looking for is we want it to be original. That's the first thing. We want it to be original. Um, the second thing, we're looking for an upbeat track. You know, we want it to be upbeat uh, about downtown Midland. And then the other details is that we're looking for like a one minute to um, for an intro. So a one minute track for an intro and outro. Uh, but we'd also like to use some of that one minute track for a little five to 10 second bumper in between. So um, those are the quick details. And uh, Selena, do you have any other questions? We, we just have so many great musicians in this yeah. town. We'd love to give some of them some love and some appreciation for what mm-hmm. they do and, and make them a part of this monthly podcast. Yes. So we're going to take our time with this. We'll give people time to react and get information back. If you have questions or you have an idea that you'd like to submit, um, I'm going to send them to you, Chris. Yes, that's right. Yeah. My, yeah. And so my email, is uh, K Ferguson uh, at midland mi.org. So that is K Ferguson at midland mi.org. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me and uh, we can collaborate a little bit too, as well. So oh, beautiful. This has been a fun podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. We're looking forward to uh, the next one. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for listening to this month's podcast about downtown Midland. This podcast is presented by the MCTV Network, a service of the City of Midland. To learn more details, be sure to follow and like Downtown Midland social media or visit downtownmidland.com. Subscribe to this podcast on your preferred podcast platform. Also, you can watch us on MCTV Network on the Midland Government Affairs channel and the City of Midland's YouTube channel. Okay, so Cody, I have a, the last little bit before we let you go. Um, I want to talk about the difference between a macaroon and a macaron because obviously I can't say it right. So <laughs> tell me, tell me a little bit about the difference between the two things there. Sure, so our favorite question. <laughs> um, yeah. A macaroon uh, traditionally is a coconut and chocolate based dessert uh, cookie. And a macaron is like your traditional French pastry that is two cookies sandwiched with buttercream in the center. Um, And the reason, uh, from what I can gather, that there's so much confusion between the two names, at least here in the U.S., is that we have both of them. We have macaroons and we have macarons. Um, Whereas in other countries, they really don't know the macaroon like we do here in the U.S., so they use the name more interchangeably. So then we see people doing that on baking shows, you know, referring to them as macaroons uh, and, you know, take that on here. So, yeah, whatever people say, we know what they're referring to. Usually they mean the French macaron, but yeah. All right. Thank you, Cody. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. We had to make sure we get that one in yep. uh, the recording. So um, best of luck to you and O Macaron. And uh, you're down on Townsend Street, too. Yep. Correct? Yep. Cool. Cool.